Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be setting up this iPhone right here, which is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. However, the setup process is the exact same thing, whether you have a 12 Pro, 12, or just a 12 Mini. So let's get started with our phone. The very first thing we have to do is insert the SIM card. So on this side, on the left hand side, where you guys see these buttons, that's for your volume, you're going to see this tray. So right here is where we have to open up. And inside your box, what you have is this. So inside your box, where you got your brand new iPhone, you will have this tool. Just take it out. If you lost it, don't worry. Use an earring. Works great. And we're going to set this up. So on the side, once again, which is on this side, actually, we're just going to open this up. All we have to do is just insert the tool, press down on it. It's going to pop out. Don't be afraid to push kind of hard on it until it just pops out by itself and then just pull it out a little bit and there we go it goes out the whole way that's what you want next up is our sim card most of you will have something like this take out the smallest one so the smallest one is the nano sim card nano sim card is what you want for your phone that's how it looks like and the way that's going to go inside is this way actually so on this side i'm just going to play my sim card like this if i place it like so it's going to work well if you don't place it properly, then it's not going to work. You can still do the setup, but it's just not going to work. So to place your SIM card, you just have to go in here, press down on it, and there we go. So that's where your SIM card goes, and we can keep going with the setup. So on the right-hand side, we're going to see a power button, which is also your Siri button. Just hold on to it until you guys see an Apple logo. So I'm going to hold on. I see the Apple logo, just let it be. So we're just gonna let that Apple logo load up. We're gonna see hello, swipe up, down here up. We're gonna select our language. Now your language can be any of them. So just choose whichever makes sense to you, such as English in this case. And from here, we're gonna select our region. It can be the first one or just keep scrolling down until you find yours. So if you scroll almost all the way down, you should see US if that's where you're from. Select that, we do have a quick start. So if you've had an iPad from before, maybe an iPhone, we can do the quick start. Just put it beside. I do have a, another video showing you exactly how to do that. For this video, we're not going to do that. So we're just going to set up manually down here below. Choose our Wi-Fi network. So we're going to choose this one right here. Put in your password. Once you put in your password, it's just going to take you to this page. Right now, we just have to wait. So just let it be. And we should see this. Click on continue. From here, face ID, I'm gonna teach you how to do this. It's just moving your head kind of in circles, kind of up, down, side to side, you move it in circles. I'm gonna continue on. And here's the quick tutorial. So it does let us know kind of how to move our head. So you guys can see, you kind of move it along the circle and that's how you scan. I'm gonna do that right now so you guys can see how that's done. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So right now I'm here, I'm just moving my head around. I kind of can't record this well because I'm doing this video. Click on continue. My tripod and my camera are in the way. So that's why it wasn't perfect, but good enough. Continue on, create a passcode. Do want to mention that you don't have to do this type of passcode. Passcode options will show you more. So you guys could pick a four digit one if you like, or any other and cancel for now and just put in one that's good. Not like the one that I'm setting up right now, which makes no sense if you do a passcode like so. So once you put that in, it's just going to take you to the next step, which is the most important one of them all, because we have restore from iCloud. We have various options down here. If you're brand new into iPhone, we're gonna select don't transfer apps and data because you don't have any. Now, if you guys had an iPhone from before, make sure to check out that specific video. So I do have a video that shows you exactly how to transfer information from your old iPhone to your new one, which is basically just making a backup on iCloud and then you just sign in here and that's about it. It's that simple. Or if you guys have no more space on your iCloud, you can do it from your computer, which on Mac you guys can use Finder or on your PC, you guys can use iTunes, which pretty much means you don't have that five gig limit of free space that iCloud gives you if you do it from your PC or your Mac. So that might be good for some of you. Anyways, assuming you're brand new into iPhone, we're gonna select the last option. 
And from here, we do have to create an app ID. If you have one in, just put in your email, password, and keep going. Once we do that, it's just gonna take us to the next steps, which I'm gonna show you in a second. We're gonna just choose this last option down here below. So again, I'm just choosing this bottom one. And right here, we have other options. So we can create an app ID right now. I suggest you do that. I do have a separate video showing you step-by-step step how to create an Apple ID. I suggest you watch that if you haven't created one before. We can also create that later on in settings. And for downloading apps, we do need an Apple ID, so I suggest doing that. Just to make this video faster, I'm gonna go ahead, set up later, don't use, and I'm gonna go ahead and accept terms and conditions. I'm gonna go ahead and continue on. I'm gonna keep this up to date, yeah. And I message in FaceTime, obviously we all want that. And hey Siri. So this part's pretty cool because to access Siri, we can always press this. However, you don't really have to because we can leave it hands off and just at any time to say, hey Siri, and our iPhone is going to respond to us without us touching anything. So right now we're going to set that up. Press and continue. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. So at this point in time, it's ready. Hey Siri does learn along the way to capture your voice better, but we're gonna continue on. And this lets us know exactly what I just told you about Hey Siri. And right here, improve. Most of you will want to keep this more private, so not now. For some of you who don't really mind, then go ahead and share audio recordings. Screen time. Screen time is pretty cool if this is for your kids. So set it up with screen time because that way you guys can control pretty much everything. So you guys can't just restrict how many apps they download or any apps that they download. You can put more restrictions on the time they use the phone itself. There's a bunch of stuff for parental control. However, for most of you, you don't really care about looking at how much time you're spending on your phone. So you might have to skip this option if you don't really care. I don't really care. <laughs> I never look at those stats of how much time I'm spending on my phone because I use my iPad more anyways. But anyways, right down here, it says set up later in settings. We're gonna do that later on in settings if you guys want to. By the way, any of this setup, if you change your mind during the process, just finish it up and later on in settings, we can change any of this, including language, region, everything. For now, we're gonna go ahead and share this with Apple. Right now, this is just showing you this. So let me just press here. You guys see that difference in the color of the screen? That's all. Continue on. From here, you guys can choose whether a dark mode, which is my personal favorite, or light mode. Light mode, I think it's a little bit better if you're outside a lot. And dark mode, I think it's a little bit better if you're indoors a lot. It really does depend what your personal preference is for terms of this video, because it does look better on a video, easier to read. I'm gonna leave it right there on light, continue on, zoom. So that means everything will be bigger if you select this one, or if you select standard, everything's just gonna be normal. For most of you, standard's just fine. If you have vision problems, zoom will be the one to go into and we can even zoom even more than what it tells you right here. So this is a standard zoom. We can make it like super zoom in settings if you change your mind later on. For now, we're just gonna click on continue. Welcome to iPhone. We are done the setup. So these apps right here is what you guys get on your phone as default apps. And on the side, we're gonna see our widgets. Click OK, we're gonna go back, we're gonna go all the way to the end, I wanna show you this, click OK. It's just the same apps organized into folders. That's all that it is. Let's just go back. At this point in time, we're all done. Just make sure to have your battery done up to maybe 10% low and then fully charge it and do that at least three times. I know the new batteries don't actually need that, but they actually do. There's a new study that came out and they do have some type of memory into them. So it's important to do that process at least three times, okay? Later on, you guys can just charge it up to 50 or whatever and then keep going. Once again, the default apps that you would get on any phone for that matter, including this iPhone 12 Pro Max, are these ones right here that you guys can see. 
and it doesn't matter which iPhone it is. It could be a 64 gig, 128 gig. Actually, there's no 64 gig of this one, but other models there is. And these are the default apps. Let me just click into this folder so you guys can see. Those are it, and that's it. Anything else that you might like in your phone, go into the App Store and download it from there. Anyways, that would be it for this video. That's how you guys can set up your brand new iPhone right here. Enjoy it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or if this is your very first iPhone ever, make sure to check out my manual where you guys can see tricks and tips to get started with your iPhone. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.